Hey y'all, I'm James Wright. Welcome back to my shop. And again, welcome back to the table. We're getting closer to it. And this week we're gonna be finishing up the base and all of its structure, getting everything ready and cleaning it up to the surface of the table. So let's dive in and take a look at this. Okay, so I've been thinking about this problem for literally months now. I really want to keep this rough underside. I don't want to flatten it out. I don't want to smooth it uh, for several reasons. Number one, I like the aesthetic. I know it's a personal preference and I like it. I like having the rough finish on here and the, the look of the story of what happened, the epoxy leaking out. I like all that. Now I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna scrape off some of this underside, some of the sharp points so that people can't cut themselves on the little bits of epoxy and that type of thing. But I'm gonna keep the rest of it. The problem with that is, is that it undulates. Because this epoxy poured out, there are places where the epoxy is sticking up about a quarter inch higher than the rest of the wood. So my initial thought was I'm gonna cut down in so I can sink the whole base into the epoxy a quarter inch. But the problem with that is it cuts through some of these spaces here where I want light to be coming up through and that would be getting into that quarter inch of blue on the bottom and that wouldn't work out well. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to scribe the base to the undulations of the table. That means I'm gonna to have to find the highest point, which is this spot here with the epoxy sticking up about a quarter inch. And I'm going to set the thickness of my pencil to that height there. Then I'm gonna shim everything else up to that same spot so that my pencil is scribing at the same height and I can scribe the entire base at that height. Flip this over and carve that out. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Disaster struck. Oops, well, I thought I'd show you this. And something I was a little worried about is that the weak spot, there's a connection right here that uh, I hit this accidentally with a mallet when driving it back in and actually broke this whole end off. 
And after a lot of screaming and throwing things around the room, I finally said, ah, okay, I knew it would probably be a problem due to the connection here and this being so thin. Um, I probably should have made this a little bit bigger. I just didn't have enough material to do that. Oh well, you live and you learn. Um, so what I ended up doing is gluing it back together, but I put two screws through here holding this piece together. Um, and so to secure all the rest of them and to be safe in the future, I just went ahead and put screws in the rest of all of these at this point just to secure them. Um, if I had made this piece a little bit thicker, that probably wouldn't be an issue at all. But oh well, you live and you learn. And unfortunately I had to put a couple screws in here, so I can't say I built this without any hardware but uh, they're really not holding anything together other than the one piece holding it together. <laughs> so when you see the rest of this, you'll see a few screws in here. That's where they came from. Okay, so the base is almost done. I've just got a few other things we need to do on it. Number one, I wanna put in some locating pins into the base. So I have this half inch oak dowel. We're gonna drill holes into the base at four different locations, drive these pins into the base. And then we're gonna flip this whole thing over, put it on the table, locate where these pins are on the table, drill a slightly larger hole onto the table so that when we get this all together upstairs and we flip the table over onto it, it will locate the tabletop onto the base in exactly the same position every time. Also, it will provide a little bit of strength so that the tabletop doesn't want to move around. Now, the tabletop is 400 pounds, and so gravity is going to do a very good job of holding the tabletop together and this base together. And so other than these screws that I had to put in, there won't be any hardware, there won't be any glue on this table. It's all held together with gravity. So there you have it. Now I know that uh, it really doesn't look like there's been that much done since last week, but really the table is completed. The structure, everything is here. It is done and the last few steps have been ones that have really been worrying me that I've been thinking about and spending a lot of time mulling over how I'm gonna do them. So now that they're done, I'm very, very happy. And from here on out, the rest of the process is finishing. And so the videos are gonna get far more exciting and I'm looking forward to that. So hopefully next time, uh, we're gonna be taking this all apart. We're gonna be putting chamfers on all the edges. We're gonna be doing uh, some carving. We're gonna be doing some other little details and things of that nature. And then hopefully putting a coat of finish on the base and getting that out of here. So the next time we see the base after that will be when it's going together upstairs, yay! <laughs> um, yeah, um, that being said, there's still a lot of work left to do. We still have to do a lot of detail on the, on the table and get it ready for finish on both sides. All the edge work needs to be done and it is definitely gonna be interesting. So if you wanna follow along with this, I do have plans available on my website so you can actually see all the sizes and dimensions. And other than that, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I hope you like this and until next time, have a wonderful day. I told my wife it would be done in March. I just didn't say which March. <laughs>